everyone. I've got a quick update on how the airplane's been coming along. Um, lately, I've been doing a lot of work on the parts that are made from uh, aluminum sheet, um, and I ended up getting the headrest and firewall done, and um, also getting the uh, fuel tank run down. Uh, the fuel tank in particular, I was really excited to work on, uh, because on the SE5A, it's actually completely exposed. Um, so it's a really distinctive part of how it looks, so um, it's really exciting to see it on there. Um, uh, I should note that the fuel tank is really just uh, roughed out and it's actually quite a long ways from being finished. Um, it still needs a um, filler cap and a sump and uh, a vent tube and um, it also needs to be sealed with a rubber sealant. Um, if the rubber sealant doesn't work out, uh, plan B is to just uh, uh, cut a hole in the bottom and stick a commercial tank on the inside of it. Um, so, no, uh, no matter what, I can still make use of this. Um, there are quite a few ways in which uh, the fuel tank that I made is um, uh, a bit different from an original uh, fuel tank. I had to diverge from the plans quite a bit. Um, the biggest difference is that an original fuel tank would be made from steel, um, whereas I made mine from aluminum uh, to save weight. Um, also, an original fuel tank would have used solid rivets, which are a huge pain to work with. Um, so I cheated and made mine with pack rivets, um, which th they don't look quite right, but um, at least it looks better than a welded tank would. Um, also, um, my tank doesn't have any baffles. Um, I'm planning to um, use the more modern method of just filling it with a low-density foam, which will save me a lot of time. Um, another interesting way in which it's different is that an original fuel tank actually wouldn't have needed a vent tube, um, because an original SC5A didn't have a conventional fuel pump, and um, instead they used a pressurized fuel tank. So um, there would have been a hand pump inside of the cockpit um, that you'd use to prime it before the engine started, and then once the engine was running, it would be pressurized by an engine-driven air pump. Um, since, um, uh, since I'm going to be using a conventional mechanical pump, um, I'm going to need a vent tube, though. And my plan for where to run it is to just uh, run it up the, one of the cabane struts once I've got a center section done. Um, another interesting aside about um, the SE5A fuel system is that um, an original SE5A actually had two fuel tanks. There was a tiny little emergency tank um, uh, in, in the uh, leading edge of the center section that was gravity fed. Um, for simplicity, I'm going to be eliminating that on mine, and I'm just going to have one main fuel tank. Um, uh, the headrest um, also is a little bit different than um, how an original headrest would be, and the main reason is that um, I could only find uh, plywood that was uh, four feet wide, and so the plywood part of my fuselage doesn't extend back quite as far as an original one would have. So with an original SC5A, the aluminum headrest would have screwed into plywood, um, but since I didn't have that option, I epoxied it to the plywood part of the uh, headrest, and then I covered the aluminum headrest with Dacron. And it's actually really sturdy. Um, so I'm, I'm actually quite happy with how it turned out, even though I sort of had to improvise. Um, the firewall is dead simple. It's, it's just a, a rectangular piece of aluminum with holes in it, so it's almost not even worth describing. Um, as for what I'm going to work on next, um, I, I of course have to work on finishing up the fuel tank, um, and I'm looking forward to working on some of the controls. Um, I've got uh, uh, horns on all the control surfaces that I have done, and I've got a rudder bar, um, so I'm thinking about uh, fabricating the control stick and then uh, running some wires to uh, my control surfaces and uh, that way I'll have actual controls to play with, <laughs> which will be really cool. Um, one thing that, um, that I should warn you guys about is that uh, in a few days I'm going to be going out of state for an internship, so there's going to be two months where unfortunately I won't be able to work on the airplane, so um, sadly there's going to be a uh, a longer gap uh, between this and my next airplane update, um, which I'm, I apologize for. Um, thank you so much everyone for watching, and um, a huge thank you in particular to my Patreon supporters. I, I really appreciate your help.